Oh, obviously I'm gonna go Kane right now. Bangles, bangles. So not only did Musafa stick with the bangles, but we got a bangles on bangles action. Oh, they right gave him a touchdown. That is not a touchdown. Oh my goodness. And you see he had the run blocking on aggressive there to make sure he gets I know he's so Tyler Eifert, give me a move too. Throw the challenge flag. What you miss those days? Throw the challenge flag. I'm not a fan of challenges, but just get the call right. Yeah. EA Sports, it was in the game. And the way. It's me, I take it. Safa goes up 7-0 there. Kicking off the match to Gamer. Bengals on John Ross on John Ross action. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't tell you who else these guys are throwing to. A.J. Green, uh -oh, obviously. Strip. But you got to have four or five people on A.J. Green. And then a safety Dude, over the Fossil top on Ross. trying to take it to the ATL strip club. I see you out there. 7-0. Matchster, first down from the 33. Looks like he is also going to be in a, a wide trips. Now, most of the information that I heard... It's how they are, uh, I, don't, I heard he was an under center player. Mm -hmm. And he's coming out in shotgun this first play here. I wonder if he has uh, maybe switched the offense or maybe he had an offense under center for round robin play and maybe has a playoff offense. Let's see what happens. Looks like he's in New England playbook to me. Wide trips flipped. Ottawa to the, I just flipped. I thought he was gonna go to that bunch. A little bit of a quicker progression, usually, if they go to directly to Bunch. Now, uh, not only are the Bengals so far the most used team in the final 16 of the Madden Classic, but they are also the second oh, most Oh, big used, spin. Ooh, second most used team online. People are smarter than second least used team online. So I'm clearly, um, clearly not the only one confused as why we have two Bengals users here. But I guess that shows you if you are as competitive as these guys, you can make any team work. That's the difference between a pro and Joe Schmo. Obviously, these pros have seen something with the Bengals and said they can get the job done for the belt. We will see if I – well, I guarantee you this. We'll have a Bengals usually in the final eight. I like this heat in the bringing off that left side. Hovers with the right. Comes off the left, untouched, then picked up. Bomb. And John Ross. Bombs over bag, Dad. You already know what it is. John Ross on a streak, throw it perfect. That man, ugh. That's, that's baby reek. That's essentially what that is. That is baby reek. 7-7, seven, seven, just like that. Master Gamer ties it up. Now, Musafa, another one of those players that has a chance to go back-to-back -back like the Pats in 04. He is currently in the Falcons' final four. Hold on. I see it, Geo. I saw a lane. I didn't want to interrupt this lane. I thought he was about to get banged, to be honest. Relax. Final four right now for my man Musafa, defending Falcons Club Series champion last year. I uh, believe he even made final eight of clubs overall, um, which yeah. was full of players from a certain crew that user doesn't like me to tell about. All right. Yeah, Mufasa had a good run last year. That's real. Definitely, definitely. And Matster, Dolphins final four right now. So you are seeing some club series previews right now. I wonder if, because uh, both these players know that, I wonder if that makes them want to hide maybe something. You, there's always something you got to back pocket. I wonder is that in the, the mind of either one of these competitors today? I mean, it's the last day. They ain't holding this, nothing else out. They're trying to bring out all the goods, all the dots, all the heat, everything. Can't hold nothing else. Bunch week for Safa. Nickel normal looks like it's going to be for Matster Gamer. Two of the most popular formations you'll see on both sides of the ball here on Championship Saturday, Madden 19 Classic. Definitely. That's all I've really been seeing is their 4-3-I and that nickel normal. Crossfire and the nickel DB blitz coming off the edge. That's what you're pretty much going to see. I was waiting to see what was the new meta in the, uh, since the patch. As you see, oh, good D. Good alert. That curl flat was coming open, but he didn't have time. As you see, he's going to keep sending that nickel back off that edge, trying to make sure he doesn't give him time to get that curl flat corner out. Definitely one of the most popular combination of routes this weekend. It's gotten people chunks and chunks and chunks of yards over and over. It's going to be who has the best defense for Bunch and who has the best defense for Trips tight end that's going to win this tournament. Correct, correct. Second and ten, flips the Bunch. Now what they're doing when they flip that Bunch there, they want, to get you, they, they want you to get set up in your defense for Bunch on the left. I'm going to flip it real quick because I've only got one hot route to make anyway. Now you get set up on the right. Eh, let's go back to the left side and just run the ball instead. Correct, correct. You'll, you'll see a lot of that. Th those are the little chess games that you'll see going on this weekend. 
that bunch and that curl flat combo, obviously everyone knows you have to manually guard it, but you got to send enough pressure where he doesn't have time to hit that corner route. Third and three, a lot of options available there. Oh, nice play, nice wrinkle, sending the running back out the backfield on the wheel. Not a lot of times have we seen the running back go out out of any formations this weekend. Uh, people are worried about that uh, blitzing pressure from the nickel backs out of whatever formation, whether it be 3-3-5, nickel normal, whatever they come out in. The running backs tend to uh, stay in the block, and like you said, great wrinkle there by Mustafa to pick up the first down. And the thing about that curl flat play, you can run it to either the wide side or the short side. It's unguardable either way. That's the difference between corner routes. That curl flat, you can just throw it anywhere, and it's going to get open. High pass, caught. First and 10, just under four minutes left in the second. Back to that bunch. Mustafa six with the nickel normal. Shows pressure from the right side here. Now, one thing you'll notice, as, as the flips are coming here, Master's not, not changed anything. No, he has, Seems like he's got both sides of the field defended regardless. Yeah, he has his defense basically triangle right. He's not doing that. He's not worried about what side you screen. Let's go coming off that edge. And maybe he should have been on that play. A you, loss of seven. You see he didn't block that running back. And that's what, that's what can happen when you don't block that running back. That he can come in there real fast. It's definitely been the most popular hot route to the running back. Just a simple block. Second and long now. Now, he didn't lose field goal range here, but you do want to but he almost lost a possession. Wow. Dropped pick from Master Gamer. User, what happens next? Who possibly know what happens next? Master Gamer know what's happening next. Let's go take this shot to the end zone and see if Madden really loves me. Third and 18, look for Ross up top, A.J. Green on the corner maybe underneath him, and let's see can they get a little uh, rub route action there and isolate some defenders. Instead, he takes the underneath the Geo, makes one miss, isn't going to pick up all 18, get about 13 of it. Decision time for Musafa. I just noticed they're putting Bernard at receivers out there, so they have two running backs, so obviously both of them have good spin, and maybe Bernard has high catch. Uh, Mixon is more of the, um, the drawback, is what we like to call him. If it's going to be a run play, it's usually going to be a draw and inside zone. You won't see much under center, I form pro, I form normal. You notice the one touchdown we did see running the ball was to a tight end. Um, little things you have to do differently when you're using a team like the Bengals. Ooh, nice spin. Could he go? Matchster Gamer here. Second drive. Second official EA Major live appearance. He was in the 18 challenge. Of course, he's here in the Madden 19 classic. Looking to make himself an Elite Eight competitor. Trips tight end. Now on the other side of that, Musafa, this is going to be his third live appearance. Of course, he had the Madden 18 Club Championship, made us that Madden 18 Ultimate League. Still tells us all to this day he can't believe that he didn't do what he went to do in that. And of course, you see him here in the Sweet 16 of the Madden 19 Classic. First and 10, clock ticking. What's Master got? Now that formation, W was running it at the beginning of the year, and it was real hot. And like I know a couple of man players that was using that had that nice, uh, had, has a curl flat combo out of there. Nice, nice, nice. Along with that verticals play, that formation could be very tough to stop. And the way that receiver on that left side is on the inside, you can send him on the streak. As you see here, he's already bombed him once. That's why he's pulling that DB back on the left side to make sure he doesn't get beat again. Yeah, one of the first players I noticed consistently uh, drawing those uh, D backs back when they were playing defense, uh, Jay Bird. He, he refused to have his corners close. He refused to bring his safeties down to the box. Um, interesting that you're seeing that a little more today. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and all these guys, they're pros. You're seeing the pre-snap reads. You're seeing the pre-snap adjustment. They're, they're not just coming out here just snapping the ball. They're not just flipping the play just to waste time and have fun. These guys are literally playing chess, check move after check move. You know what they say. At the end of the game, the king and the pawn go in the same box. They've got to beat them in that. That's right. Third and one here. You see the trips look again. Feel a base coming. I'm gonna run right at that running that linebacker. I'm, you got you got to come if you're looping. I'm coming right at you. Yeah. He Instead he blocks He's and gonna... he doesn't loop. Wow. Double coverage dropped. Wow. 
And, and this is a 58-yarder if he takes it. Let's see what happens immediately to and, the shotgun. And as you know, the master gamer got greedy right there. He had the tight end open on that out route. Easy, simple check down, but he didn't want to take it. He took the gamble trying to go up top. Now he's in a fourth and one, and hopefully he can still convert it. Now, in my opinion, this is maybe a little more sticky situation for Musafa. It's early. You can fight back from this if you don't get the first down. But you have to defend so much from Musafa's side. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, is he going to run? Let me bring some people down. Okay, now I'm going to get bombed over the top. You're like, all right, I'm worried about getting bombed over the top. He just threw the ball for 20, tried to throw the ball for 20 yards on third and one. Maybe I should play back coverage a little bit. Then a draw comes. Instead, it's a wide open wow. overthrow. Andy Red Rifle Dalton, and yeah. that's what happens yeah. when you use a team like the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. We know they're all professional players. They're going to make the throws on Sunday, but every once in a while, something like that is going to happen. That's what happens when you get too cute. Don't want to take the simple check downs. Got running backs that receive, but you start overthinking it. And Master Gamer, he's a lab rat. He's a guy who prides himself in knowing everything and trust and believe he knows everything about this game. When you were sleeping, he was up labbing. He knows all the plays and all the dots. The question is, can he use all the knowledge that he knows and has prepared for and pull these games out? A.J. Green on the spin move there. First time we have called his name today. Took almost the entire first half, and that just tells you how different the game plan on John is than the game plan for the actual Cincinnati Bengals. We are looking for John Ross and Tyler Eifert in the flats. A.J. Green, a lot of times is going to be a distraction. Good D. Good playmaker play there. To, yeah, you, good playmaker by X, but even better defense there. Second and 10. Now, Musafa needs a first down to get into field goal range. Maybe even a, a, you know, a fourth and inches, you could probably still kick it. A fourth and one, you could maybe still kick it. But he's not worried about that on second down. If I'm Mufasa, man, I'm not trying to get three. I need to get seven. I need to put the pressure on him, make him feel like, hey, man, this ball game is over. It can happen. Anticipate pressure coming from the right side here from Master. And it looks like Musafa expects the same thing. And it looks like maybe uh, Master just came out, went to a base D. Yeah, it looks like at the very end there, canceled to a Good base read. cover too. And I think Musafa recognized that as well. What you'll see, that cornerback just took immediate couple steps back. Just a, just a few steps back automatically, almost jump backwards, almost like a jump cut, um, which tells experienced Madden players like Musafa, you just switch to some kind of base defense. Correct. There's no adjustments to it. I know how to beat it, whether it's cover three, four, five, cloud six, 12, I don't care, I can beat it. Correct, and that's why they had these players like John Ross and Tyreek Hill. As you see, every play, the defender has to make sure he has a safety over top, or he's pulling them back. And most of the time when you see him pulling back, that means that safety is not going to be over top because the guy's like, hey, man, I trust him. Two linebackers in your left side gap of the screen there. And as soon as I say that, we take it away. Base. Good base D. Good base D. He covered the outside himself. He said, if you're going to spin somebody, you have to spin me. Computer's going to clean it up. That's exactly what happened. That's great D. Second and 10, underneath, wide open, John Ross. And that's just basically verticals, good combo. Send the in route and make the user have to choose. Who you gonna give up? Are you gonna cover that vertical route, that mountain route, or are you gonna cover that in route? Bunch look again, nickel normal. You notice not as much hovering from a master game. You'll see a lot of people jump, jump onto a linebacker, get into, a, get into a gap, try to hover, and try to confuse an offensive lineman. Not as much from that from Matt Oh, nice comeback route. Great comeback route there. I'm going to let y'all know, that is a professional man player dot right there. Comeback route is one of the most unused routes in the video game. It's a good route. It's just most players forget to use it. Me, myself, and one of them. You're a better Madden player than I. I don't even have any of my adjustments <laughs> until now. First and goal. Ten seconds left. He's got time for High two ball. plays. High ball picked off, and that hurts. Got greedy. Got greedy. If you want to talk about swings and momentum, if you want to talk about the pendulum coming your way. That was a bad read. It was just a bad read. But you know how it is. You get in that red zone, the clock is ticking. Hey, man, the high ball has bailed people out for the last two to three years. They're like, hey, man, I'm going to chuck it up here and, hey, wish on a prayer and hopefully this thing don't get intercepted. But Matt was ready for it. Halftime, no damage done by Matster there. 10-7, Matster does receive the ball. 
chance to tie this game up. Excuse me, looks like, yeah, Matsu does receive this ball. Good spin, double spin. Like it. Have you used the Bengals at all, ever? Any any year of John Madden? No, I, I have used them. I'm not going to lie. When they had uh, first got Drake or Patrick and they had a couple other guys. What's that? 13, 14? They, they was pretty, and they had some other dudes, like six foot, six foot four safety. He was tough, like 87 speed. And Taylor Mays. That's when I had him. Whatever year Taylor Mays was on, it was all right. A Taylor Mays sack. Yeah. Okay, didn't expect that. First stream. In the first sack of the game. Great timing there, second and 18. This is a big drive for both players. Musafa knows how bad of a turnover that was. Matcher knows how big of a turnover that was. Which player can capitalize the most on that? Why trips look at a Matcher? Now the last time I personally used the Bengals, they had a trio that I like to mess with. Uh, of course, my guy, Chad Ochocinco. Oh. TJ Huzumazilla, Haujamanaza, Huzumazada, the good one. We threw to him a lot, uh, but it was still Red Rifle. Quick pro tip, you're wondering why Matt's the gamer's motioning that guy across that left side. He's actually motioning to, make, to move that nickel back a little out farther so he can get more time. And he's obviously developed some type of route combo with the corner route or the in route. Oh my goodness. Brandon Scream right there. The guys came hollering down the middle, but match the game was ready to use. So like most people, on third and 18, you throw your 68 overall receiver, John Ross. That's exactly what the game plan is. Now he may have 97 speed, 95 uh, 85. He meets all the thresholds. But yeah, in third and 18, you always throw your 68 overall receiver first down. That guy. I know that we are sponsored by the official sound of the NFL Madden 19 championship, Bose. Musafa locked in with his pick. Yeah. Three and some change left in the third, second race. Wide trips gets a little bit wider there. Yeah, two of them came. If he broke one sack, the second was coming. Musafa turning up the heat. He says, I do. Screaming, let's go. Third and eight, you've got to cover. Now on third and eight, I know it, it, it may sound five like it makes no sense. Five five AJ Green is much more of a of a, of, of a target here. Because mm -hmm. you know you're sending Ross up top, they're going to go over the top. Like everyone knows that. So a simple like curl, come back. I, I look for AJ Green here in out route, something. In route, slants. Yeah, in it's because you're going to be covering Ross too much here. You have to on third and eight. He didn't back Ross up, so might be that corner combo again where you overthrew the ball. Oh, and it's a flat it's wheel a, out of the backfield. It's a makeshift screen. It's exactly what it is. Beautiful play call. Executed even better. And that's First what, down from Matster. And that's one of those professional plays right there. As you see, Master Gamer just basically, he made him a homemade screen. <laughs> you know what exactly I'm saying? What he that's did. what it is, a homemade screen. If you guys don't like the screens in your playbook out there, a simple flat oh, to the side patient. and the wheels underneath it, you will get that blocker up top and you are going to have exactly what user told you, a makeshift screen pass. Second and third here. Nobody over the top. He want, yeah, he, he was yelling at him to throw the ball out wide there quick. He didn't do it. Draws him instead. Broken tackle, still gonna lose a yard. It's gonna be third and manageable. It's hard to bomb him right here when you hit the 23-yard line, but I've seen it done. Now, Master didn't have quite the, uh, quite the sweat in the last round as he has right now. Defeated Vilma 27-3, did use those same bangles. Yeah. Uh, and really on the same way, Musafa, same thing, 20-10 to 10 in his game uh, for the round of 32. So both came in a little bit, yeah. a little, a little bit calmer. Uh, Vilma, one of the guys that drove 40 hours. And, whew. I flooded in the ride home. Oh my goodness. Nice. Touchdown. Mixon? Nice dot. Bernard. The Bengals look just looking like an absolute just air raid offense. Just big well, yeah, I guess Andy Dalton got some big 12 love there. John Ross, Pac-12. They don't play no defense in either one of those conferences. So yeah, I I understand this now actually. If Master Gamer can ever 
clutch up. Like, he knows all the plays. He knows all the reads. And he's in the lab more than almost anyone. Yeah. That man is dedicated to his craft. Oh, yeah. I respect Matt Stewart. Yeah. So much for the, how much he's in the lab. Yeah, it's the little subtle things. The only reason why he hasn't been able to pull out a big win. But he's got that chance this weekend. Yeah. Goes up 14-10. Backs Musafa up there. He's going to only take it out, get the 18. He's the 82 yards for pay dirt. Yeah. He's got seven minutes to do so. Winner of this game goes into the final eight. Ugh. That's good. That's that's a great weekend. Oh, yeah. That means you're three games away. Mm -hmm. Up top, he wants it all day. in one play. Swerve? Did he just try to swerve a little bit? Swerve? Was that a. He did. Like, <laughs> tried to bring it out. Was that a throwback Thursday? Yeah. He, I don't he know tried to about throw it up top. One. He thought he had him beat, and he just got desperate and started saying, hey, they man, let me see if I can get some type of animation. Relax. Hopefully, man, can give me some fluke. It was first down. Called that man desperate. Said that man was looking for fluke. Oh, you already know what it was. It was right second right down dot. Right third right and three. Match the game or overthinking it. Coming off of that in route, knowing he can't make it back to that post, giving Mufasa a chance to take that dot and get five yards. Now, no matter who comes out on top of this game, even the loser's going to go home with 37.50. Not a bad consolation prize, in my opinion. You win it, you're up to 5,000. You're effectively playing a $1,250 money game. back side. Oh, good pickup there. What's going on with EMB? Fourth and three. Reach look kind of shaky. They call him. You're saying you love the play calling? I'm, I agree. No, I'm, I'm not. So that's what I heard. Send up a smoke signal. What's going on? That's exactly what I heard. Fourth and three from the bunch. Flips it. Again, Master not, not reacting to the adjustments as much as some other players do. Floods that left side of the field. Oh, he has everything booked. Everything, everything was Everything was covered. We call that a coverage sack. The block shed comes in. It's a turnover on downs. Master is going to have the game inside the red zone with ball. His game is in his control. He's just got to keep his foot on the gas. And um, update for that other one. I know a lot of people were asking about it. 31-14 in the way of Canes. Uh, we never want to call anyone out before they're out. Um, but it looks like unlike his last game where he beat Shakobi 24-20 in an absolute instant classic, he may take care of Problem Child with a little more ease. Problem Child in his first EA Major live appearance. Huge respect to that man for making as far as he did. Let's stay locked into this game. 14-10, Master Gamer, 35. Mufasa needs a big stop right here to hold him to three. Wide trips. Uh, Walton Jr. in the backfield. You know, Walter Jr. Everyone's favorite now, running back. I haven't seen Master Gamer run this formation all game. And this is what we're talking about, people. He's been moving the ball when he was down. He was running all this other offense. Oh, right, oh right off the edge. The running back doesn't <coughs> even react. And he's right back in his fourth down. And he's only going to get three out of it. I apologize, user. Finish that. And that is the difference between these pros. Like you say, okay, Master Gamer's a pro. Moe's a pro. What's the difference? Now, Master Game ain't ran that formation all day. He got a chance to go up two possession. All of a sudden, he out here running ace, two tight ends. I'm like, if I'm my man and that's he in my camp, what are you doing? Keep running what got us back in the game. Now we kicking three and basically that stop was meaningless. That was a, that was a great sack for Musafa. Needed it, that was, that was needed right there. Six, 17, 10, touchdown lead. Four and change. You might as well call it five minutes. You got the whole fourth quarter left. Put up your fours in the chat. The first fourth quarter of the final 16 of the Madden 19 Classic. Spin move, and there was a lane. He had one to beat. He didn't beat him. But instead, he's got a chance to tie this game up. Needs 73 yards, plenty of time, three timeouts. You have time to stay in your own offense. You don't need to mix anything up, in my opinion. And as you see, Master Gamer only got three, so Mufasa has a good chance. He's still in this game. Get seven, lock up. He can pull this game out. Something that you don't see a lot, uh, user controlling the safety out of Master there. And Keynes is over here just pouring all the water on my man Problem Trout, trying to drown him on the stage, 38-14. That will move Keynes on to the Elite Eight there. One step closer to his first belt. 
bunch look on second and 19 for Safa. Whip route. That's the gamers out here lurking. And he waited for Matcher to run away from the corner route. He was, we said, just, I need the in route mm -hmm. to get wide open, just so that way the corner route gets wide open. And as you see Mufasa, he's starting to add some wrinkles. He ran that curl flat combo, put Eifert on that whip route, had Ross on that, that in route, made sure Master Gamer had to cover all that underneath and hit that curl flat corner. Like I told you, if they do not send the pressure and get there, that curl flat corner is going to be open regardless. Do you know what regardless means, people? It means no matter what. You could put three, four people out there. It's going to get open. It's a great flood. Second and six from the 46-yard line. Plenty of time, taking his time. Maybe even wants this to be the last possession of the game. Can he deep? Ooh. Bomb. Or he just wants it all. John Ross, touchdown. Okay. 17-16. Okay. You hear the crowd getting into it. Okay. I know you hear it in the background. They're starting to get hype. Kane's game didn't give them too much to root for, so they're going to do it with Master Gamer and Musafa. 17-17, three and a half minutes left. This is what we're here and for. You already know Mufasa is coming to fight. And Master Gamer, he's going to have to show what he is made of. He's been in this situation so many times. Could have closed the chapter on him, but left the door open. Almost broke the tackle there. So you get the ball to 36, great kick return. So you're feeling confident here. Mm -hmm. And I know what you're going to say, user. You just don't want him to go back under center. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, do what got you. You was down. You, you made a turnover. And, you know, all of a sudden you tightened up. You got the ball. You could have went up two possessions. And now you just start running random plays. How that man's play random. He's probably ran that 6,000 times in practice. Now. Nice. Dot. And just like that, he is seven yards away from field goal range. It took him all of 10 seconds. Don't blink, you may miss something today, folks. First down, Master Gamer. And now is Master Gamer gonna go in his professional mode and milk this game out? We'll see. Is he built? With the offense that both, both these players have showed that they have, how much time can you afford to leave on the clock for the other player to score? Zero. I agree. Snap the ball with under three minutes to go. You know, if, if you run the ball and get into field goal range, you, can, you know, in, in all honesty, you only have to run seven or eight plays here. Definitely something that's possible to draw. Do. That's how you set it up. That's a, good, that's a good way to start it, by running the ball. You don't want the result, but I like the play call. Yeah. Second and 12, Gator on the tackle. Carlos Dunlap has three of those today. You know, these guys are playing five-minute quarters. By now, both of them have keen in on each other's tendencies. They know what's coming, and the game is getting real difficult to put some points up. Backs off of the drag. It looks like every time he either audibles or if he's motioning that player to that left side, he's on a drag. It looks like every mm -hmm. time that motion happens, Ross is on a drag. Mm -hmm. However, Master's still backing him up, maybe anticipating that same thing, thinking, okay, you think, I, you think I'm going to go guard a drag? I, I We're feel, stopping the streak. I feel like right now, Master Game is going to pull out that dot that he didn't convert on that last fourth down. He's going to motion. At, uh, Bernard over. Ross is going to be on that corner route. He's going to send, send Bernard on that streak. Yes. No, he doesn't. In route. Wide open. AJ. A simple drag. Oh. Mixon gets it, picks it up, and he goes down so that way he doesn't have to call anything before the two minute warning. There's no fumbles. Musafa doesn't get a free timeout. With two minutes to go, Matchster Gamer is going to be in field goal range and it's time for someone to stand up for themselves. Gonna be interesting to see how long it takes Musafa to reach into the back pocket, start calling those timeouts, um, or maybe instead does he start to blitz six more than yeah. he's been doing. He has to do something right here to get a turnover. Could be maybe even three quick stops, leave yourself, you know. A couple different things you can do to get yourself out of this, and Master's making sure you can get him. Oh! Bad animation after the catch there. Didn't give him a chance to spin. Gave him no chance to spin because of that catch. I thought Mufasa was going to bang him. He wanted to. 17 17, less than two left. Second and nine. Two timeouts still for Musafa. Master with ball, all three of his. Don't anticipate him calling him unless he needs some stamina, something along those lines. I know a lot of people are looking like, how in the world does this man have Joe Mixon at tight end and Bernard in the slot? 
Listen, I told you match the game is a lab rat. Pay attention to your packages. Pay attention. Second and nine, wheel right out of the backfield. Great Drop. defense. He's dropping way too far back, in my opinion. If you keep dropping back, I get so scared of a block shit. Like, a block shit's going to happen as you start dropping back. And then if I see somebody running right at my face, 6'6", 230 digital pounds, yeah. I, I'm getting worried. This is a big down right here. This is the game. It's third and nine. Mufasa is going to have to stand up to come up with a stop right here. He's going to have to come up with the best defensive play call of the game. The game is on the line. If he converts this, it is over. Mufasa, stand up. He's bringing green in that motion. How many receivers he sending out? Sends out four. Check down to the running back. Big hit. Way to come up with a stop. And Master Gamer is going to have to settle for three. It's fourth and two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Master Gamer is going for it. Looks like he's got some brass on him. Okay. He's not going to take the three. He's trying to put the nail in the coffin right now. Huh? Oh, yes, sir. Hey, I'm going to need you to what? pause with. Oh, my. Whoa. Relax, my guy. Fourth Ooh. and two. We're just, we don't want points. Whoa, whoa. Let's go. What is life? The flat. He comes to the alert. Oh, wide, wide open. open. Touchdown. Hey, smart play, Mufasa. Smart play. Let, hey. the, let, let him score. If you he's going to pick score. up the first down, you hey, let him you, score. You lurked everything up I underneath. Agree. You can't be upset. I he agree. still left you a chance to win the game. It's okay. It's okay. You needed his brain to collapse, but he didn't. He saw the reads. He made a good read. Touchdown. Good play by Master Gamer. But he left the door open. Not only did he leave the door open, user, on that second down. Oh, Master and Gamer. And he kicked the ball out of bounds. Oh, He's going to have goodness. it at the 40. Can, is, there a la is, is there a practice mode for kickoffs? I don't know, but I'm just saying Master Gamer is feeling the pressure. Wow, if that wasn't a nervous kick, I've never seen a nervous kick. He has a minute and 37 seconds left. Let me see if my man Mufasa can tie this ball game up. A go for two and win it. I like holding up the two fingers after a touchdown. Is he going to take the at, check down? Oh. He's not. He doesn't see it. Oh, my goodness. He's getting greedy. That's okay. It's our second and ten. You, you got plenty of time, my guy. You got plenty of time. No pressure. Oh, my goodness, I've been calling my man Mufasa all day. We have called Musafa <laughs> Mufasa for the better part hey of man, a decade. Hey, man, King coming out, man. Right, we have my man Jamal Daniels. Hey man. Put some respect on that man's name. Wimble way, man. You know what it is, man. Oh, my goodness. Second Playmaker. Ten. Andy. Andy. Red rifle. Okay. Red wheels. Third and one. Pickup of nine. That man is not a thousand-yard rusher. Third and one, he needs to convert right here. This is a big down. Come on, Musafa. Musafa, Musafa, Musafa. Third and one. Nice play, good First check down. down. Didn't get out of bounds, though. Going to have to hurry it up a little bit there. Kane's got one minute left in his game, looking to put triple zeros on the clock, move on to the final eight. Nice. Another flat nice. route. That time, he is able to get out of bounds. Nice. Unlike what he did the first time. And he still Second has and three. Timeout. Still has the timeout in his back pocket. 54 seconds, needs 41 yards, six points, and then I want two fingers in the air. Let's go, Mufasa. Put this drive together, young bull. Let's go. Show him what a club champion is made of. Atlanta Falcon representer going against a Dolphin representer. Dirty South in the building. Take the check down. Good read, boy. Sees Way it. to play smart. And Eifert out gets out of bounds. He has you the timeout in his back pocket still. Mufasa sees the whole field right now. And what that means, why is that timeout so important? That puts the entire field at play. You don't have to just attack the sidelines. You can work the seams. You can work the middle of the field. Posts are okay. Corners are okay. You don't have to shrink your playbook because you know you can just smash that select button. Good read. My man Musafa is making all the reads right now. He sees everything. Second and one. Clock ticking. Less than 40 seconds left from the 23. What's the next dot? Keep pulling it out. Let's see. Uh -oh. Since three. Oh, oh, my goodness. And it's a drop swat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, the, oh. Hey, they let you live. Shake it off. They let you live. It's your time, man. 
Can I ask you a question, user? What's up? What happens after you drop a pick? Should be a touchdown. Third and one. Should be a touchdown, man. Bless him. Let's go. By law, you got to give him a touchdown. By law. That's, no, I believe it's true. By I, law. I'm pretty sure it's in, it's in, the, it's in the guidebook somewhere. Uh-oh. Take the ch Good read. Good check. Bang down. Did he drop he it? He dropped it. He picked he what, dropped Did he it. drop it and catch it? He had he dropped it open for the and easy he dropped check it. down out of and bounds, too. It. Oh, and he, he could have got it. Eifert dipped the out of flat bounds. flat on the left. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought he was going to take, but he didn't do I it. I think maybe he thought he was going to try to, like, because Master's been, like, jumping over the routes at the very last second. I think maybe he nah. thought he was going to decide that other route. Master game. Fourth and one. Ain't that nice. Fourth and tournament for Musafa. Bunch flips the bunch, trying to get Master to make a last second adjustment. He caught that last second adjustment. He snaps the ball while the adjustment's still being made. Is it going to catch him out of position he goes for a touchdown? For wow. He does! Wow. He catches him out of wow. position on a last second wow. change, and it's a touchdown! Wow. Mustafa Jones! Wow. And Master Gamer's upset, feeling like he got cheated, but just like I said, he does not have to stick people, and you just saw a display right there. Easy interception, and I don't know what happened to Master Gamer Stick. He just folded, and there's the replay when you saw Musafa Jones' brain collapse on that reading where we said, Oh, he blocked yeah. the extra point! Wow. He blocked the extra point! He blocked it! Wow. 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 A $1,200 blocked extra point the second we've seen his only chance is an onside wow. kick. Wow. Wow. And it's recovered by Madster. Wow. Matthew Lee out of Weston, wow. Florida, with the biggest win of his career. Wow. Final eight. How does Musafa not get a perfect kick? Hold the time. Hold. I do not understand the level of Madden play we just saw right there. These guys are better than that. Russian. And look, look at his face. He, knew, he knows he was going to win. He's, oh he's, he's already thinking about his next.